Hi. Welcome to the third chapter. Code editor of the module two environment setup. Inside this, we would be talking about the coding editor we would be using throughout the course, throughout this MERN stack course. So we'll cover the following chapters. We will understand what is the VS code. We will see how VS code is going to be installed on your machine. And what are the extensions we would be using, especially for this course, that is a MERN stack course. So when you talk about VS code, this is the official website. VS code is the Visual Studio code. Full form is Visual Studio code. That's the VS code. And this is how it looks. If you have used it before, well and good. If you have not used it, you will understand here what exactly VS code is. Now, whenever you talk about the VS code, you can see you can understand the VS code by means of these aspects. What is the user interface? What are the extensions? What is the language support? What language, which language are supported in the VS code? Terminal, debugging, version control, customization, collaboration, and what are the learning resources for the VS code? Now, first point is about the user interface. If you see, this is the user interface given to you by VS code. If you see, there are some icons at the left hand side. Well, these few one, one, two, three, four, five. So these five are picks and these come and go, right? These are given to you by the extensions that I have downloaded. But this is the file explorer. If you see, this is what file explorer. And you can see or you can traverse the files like this over here. So can you see this arrow? This inside this arrow, you can collapse, expand, collapse, expand. And you can see the files inside particular folder. So here you can see, here you can see the search bar. So this search bar will allow you to search throughout the project or throughout the open directories. Now how to open directory and other thing that we will see shortly. Well, you can replace the content as well. You can replace the content as well. This is a find and replace kind of stuff. Search icon. So file project explorer, you can say file explorer, you can say search in the project. Then here you can say the source control means git you can upload this project to the github and if you want to manage those things you can see all those stuff inside this icon that's what user interface version control we talked what is the user interface version control so this is the user interface a lot of things are there we will see shortly time to time as well now version control system so this is nothing but what the version control system vcs uh, inside this course i would be covering the github then the search we have seen you may search now see here we have one file called as mern stack notion cover here you can say mern sorry mern okay so here you can go and search. Okay, somehow it is not appearing over here. M E R M E R N. But but whenever you have a lot of files, those files will come under this. Then debugging. You can debug any of the programming language by means of this window. Debugging. So we have seen Project Explorer, search version control system or the source control system and running and the debugging the classical support for every programming language has been given remember that we would be understanding vs code in the terms of javascript but it's not mandatory that you should use the 
you should use VS Code for JS only. A lot of things can be integrated by means of the extensions and your VS Code will become useful for any of the programming language. So that's not, it's not like that you are going to use only for the JS. VS Code can be used for many things. That is nothing but the language support. Multiple languages are supported. And the classical debugging system, we will see that whenever we will type the code of the JavaScript code, HTML code, how exactly we are going to debug, we are going to see over here. Now there is a next option called as extensions. Extensions are nothing but what? Extending the VS Code capabilities. Consider that VS Code is not supporting the live share, which means that I am going to share my coding screen and all of the students are going to see on their machine. That is not the built-in feature of the VS Code. But that can be done by means of the live share. There is one extension, see third party extension, live share. Can you see a design by the Microsoft? So this live share extension we can install and other participants can see my screen, coding screen in their VS code. That is also possible. This is nothing but what the extensions, extending the, the VS code capabilities fall under the extensions. Well, we have seen user interface extensions language support different different languages are supported by the vs code then what is the debugging right version control system and collaboration collaboration is nothing but what the live share one extension you need to install and once you install that extension the live share would be there so how do you install the extension just go to the extensions search for the extension click on the install and if you and if it says you need a reload, you can reload as well. That's easy. So go to the icon extensions, search for the extension name and click on the install, reload the VS code. That's it. That's how it will happen. So when you talk about the customizations, you can customize the keyboard shortcuts, you can customize the icons, you can add the themes and a lot of things you can do. That's nothing but what the customization is. So we have seen collaboration by means of the extension like live share. We have seen what is the extensions exactly extending the VS code. A lot of languages are supported. You can code by means of a lot of languages in the VS code language support. Now one feature is remaining that is nothing but what the integrated terminal. So when you go over here. When you go over here, so there is one button control and the tilde. Just, just click the key combination control and the tilde button below escape. And can you see this integrated terminal? This integrated terminal. This is the external terminal. Can you see this is the external terminal? External terminal. This is the integrated terminal. Whatever commands you can fire, you can fire the commands like this. Same thing integrated so this comes on the mac linux and everywhere that is nothing but what this integrated terminal now what is the learning resources learning resources are those things if you want to explore more about vs code they have given the classical documentation also you can search on the internet for some support that's the learning resources. So I have deliberately kept this point in this documentation. I hope you have understood the VS code. If you haven't understood, no problem. Throughout the course, we are going to use the VS code and I'm going to give you some pro tips on this VS code. I hope you have understood the video. Or you have understood the content if you get any query write it in the comment box or send me the message thank you we'll meet in the next video thank you